Creating edge destruction effects like fraying and grinding are very similar to creating the artworks, but instead we add them in edge assignable trims. When creating the edge assignable trims, ensure that the image extracted is tileable, like this. Here are some tips. If extracting an edge effects from an image, use the crop function and use transform to straighten the image. There must be a transparent background, so unlock the image first before deleting the background. If we have an edge trim that has more irregularities, we need to create a longer repeat image like this. We save the trim image as a .psd file. In vStitcher, we add the .psd file as an edge assignable trim and use the assign tool to apply the trim to the edge required. We adjust the size of the trim in the image editor. And, if necessary, adjust the crop region. We select Hide Background and use fur as well. If we have a frayed edge, one thing to take note is there should be no seam and stitch construction on the transparent parts. For this, we need to add a corner point using the pen tool. and remove the seam, and stitch construction here. If we have an effect that extends to the inside of the fabric like this, use the following method. First, we assign the trim along the edge like this. We ensure that the image is rotated to the correct angle, and adjust the side of the image in the image editor. Next, we use the texture tool on the edge the trim is assigned to, Drag and ensure that the placement of the trim is as intended. Then we use the pen tool and draw a line across following the shape of the pattern. Next, enable cut mark in the context view. Now we drag a transparent fabric onto the lower part. Similarly, we ensure that the transparent edges do not have any seams assigned and that stitch construction is flat. When using this method, it creates a floating line on the original edge like this. We must change the finish effect to the edge to none, so that there is no ghost line at the edge of the transparent part. Another example would be to add a grinding effect on the edge of the pocket opening. To do so, we first need to do a clone by offset of about 0.5 centimeters. We extract this portion to create a new pattern and remove the seam, we assign a transparent fabric to this new pattern. Then we stitch the pattern, add it in arrange mode, and dress. If the grinding effects goes along the whole edge, we will just assign it along this edge. If it does not appear along the whole edge, we can do a clone by offset of this edge of a very small amount. We assign the grinding effect to the internal line instead. And here we can adjust the internal line to be shorter or adjust the shapes to create unevenness.